Hi everybody, Renegade68 here with some more Let's Play Persona 4 Golden Blind. I am excited. Cultural festivals, cross-dressing, group dating, blind dating. Jay is going to be there, so I'm sure it'll be a good time. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh boy, go to sleep. Oh boy, it's time to drool as I watch, as I watch Drag Yosuke. Ugh. Culture Festival finally begins today. Oh boy. So are we festivaling Sunday or is that a week, a holiday? Because it'd be weird. I find it really weird when they start things on Friday or Saturday and then continue them through next week. Like, you might as well just start them on Monday, right? I don't know. That's just how I feel. Uh, you wonder if your class project will be a success. I mean, is that just today? Is the, or is the Culture Festival multiple days? I don't know. I assume it's multiple days, but we'll see. Hurry to school. Oh boy. Oh boy. When's the drag festival? Is that like towards the end? <laughs> the drag festival. Who's dragging who? Class booth, group date cafe. Ah, oh, did Yukiko ditch? Maybe Yukiko ditched. No one's stopping by and everyone's miserable. Don't you think it'd be a fun time? We need Rise here to attract attention. That's where everybody is, isn't it? At Rise's booth? Or now toes, everybody's at those booths. What about Yukiko though? She has fans. Come in for a first hand experience with group dating. Oh god. You gotta sell it better, Yukiko. You suck. You're being yucky. You're really putting the yuck in Yukiko right now. Mm. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Well it's not gonna get any better by sucking. By yucking. So yuck better. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. They're all busy on the first floor. We gotta get some attention up here. We need Teddy. I can't believe I'm saying that, but we need Teddy. He could help, right? Maybe he's the evil one. He's drawing the attention away, maybe. Hmm, I would hate that. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. The frick is a shill? Shills? Uh, who? Shills are people? Like Rise, maybe, on our floor? Or Teddy, unfortunately, would probably help. Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Well, we gotta do something. Wait, so where are the rest of the people in our class? Are they off having fun while we're forced to make this crappy thing work? And hell, Yosuke, you're the one who has to come up with stuff. It's your idea. Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. Once you get one, more will maybe, maybe, hopefully come. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. That's the spirit, hay bear. We can put a hay bear outside, maybe. But there's only five of us here. Teddy's a bear? We could make Teddy the pay bear. They'd come, they'd come to him and he'd say, hey, and then he'd be the hay bear. He'd replace you as the hay bear. Uh, he'd be your hay bear. Well, okay, if there's five of us, then we can make a five-man band. Um, let's see. It's Yosuke's idea, so unfortunately I think he has to be the leader. Um, uh, uh, the class rep is the rep guy, so he'd be like the Lancer. Um, let's see. Uh, Yukiko would be the chick. Uh, I would be the smart guy, and Chie would be the tough guy. Or, switch up the teams, make, uh, me the leader. Um, make Yukiko the smart guy, Chie the tough guy, um, the... Uh, President the Lancer and Yosuke the Chick because, let's be realistic, he's a Yosuke. Oh! Yo, how's it going? There's Kanji! That'll help things, and Kanji's the sixth ranger, I guess. I came to check up on you. Guys? Uh, yes, we are guys. Except for the girls, we are guys. Perfect timing! Yo, we can make use of him! But now we've got four guys and two girls. So I guess we need Naoto and Rise. Eh, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girl's side? <laughs> Yosuke's gonna be the girl. That has to happen. What? I'm not gonna- Yes, you are! Um, quickly grab a guy's seat. Boldly sit in the girl's area. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. That would be funny though. Um... No, I'm gonna quickly grab a guy's seat. I am the manly man. I'm already taking one for the team because I shouldn't have to in the cross dressing. So today, I'm being a man. <laughs> there 
There you go, Yosuke. You'll be our girl. <laughs> yeah, that's fitting. Are you serious? <laughs> it would be funny to sit on the same size chair and, and, and Yukiko, though. Well, let's get started. Doing what? Uh, uh, you guys can start now. Why can't I sit across from Chia? Will someone please start? So, uh, how's the weather? Crap! <sighs> you look normal today, and your normal is good, so you look good all the time. That is my master pickup line. Actually, what the hell is this? That's a very good question. Yosuke, what the hell is this? A mock group date. If by mock you mean a mockery of a group date. I mean, we're on a group date! <laughs> oh god, don't even try, Yosuke. You can't even do it good. You don't have to talk like a girl. Well, that might attract some people. Is so. What are your hobbies? <laughs> oh god, that sounds so fake. I love it. Man, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Are you kidding me? It sounds like he's having the worst time of his life. I like, um, martial arts in general. Uh, m mainly watching them. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, yeah. A lot of us, hell, all of us would probably be super awkward on dates. Except me. I'd be the master, but, um, but I'm an avatar, so I can't, I'm a mute, so I can't speak. I'm not spoken to. This is really embarrassing. I can't speak unless spoken to. So unless someone speaks to me, I can't put my master craft at work. Mm, my hobby is um defeating shadows. You don't. The fucking class rep is right there, and we're trying to attack people. At attack. We're trying to attack all of the bystanders. We're trying to attract people's attention. Why are you saying this crap in front of people? Like, this is why I can't take this game seriously. That's not a hobby. Um, it kind of is. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Gosh. Okay, then we'll ask you a question next. Oh, boy. Oh, my time to shine, at least. Um. Um. Um, yes, you're on a roll, Chie, you're on a roll. What's next? What type of girls do you like? Chie, I mean, what? Whoa, getting right to the point. Yosuke! I mean, no, never, never, ever, ever would I like the Yosuke type of girl. Or the guy. I guess, uh, cute girls? What a generic answer. You're a nerd, you don't get to be picky. <laughs> Man, this is lame. It'd probably be better if we'd actually been on group dates before. If we'd actually been on any dates. I mean, I've been on some solo dates, but they're not real dates, except a couple with Chie, and even then, like, it's weird because both of us are kind of weird about it. Oh, now it dawns on you? <laughs> Your turn. What type of girls do you like? Me? Boy, finally. Someone like Chie, someone like Yukiko, a kind girl. I don't really care. <laughs> if you can't say someone like Yosuke. Um... I don't really care is a boring answer. Someone like Chia. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> you should know that. Uh, plot. I mean, we they already kind of know we're going together. Uh, or at least they would think. I mean, uh, for a second, I, I, I thought you were serious. <laughs> Are you trying to hide it from people? I mean, it's a, it's a real thing. She looks impressed but happy as well. Your turn, Kanji-kun. Oh. Uh. Well, I... I like the girls that I thought were guys at first. I mean, what? Uh, well, I, I, I guess someone who's uh, kind of mysterious and uh, looks strong, but actually kind of... Uh, actually kind of a girl when you think they're a guy, so now talk? Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. Yeah, we all know who he's talking about. Except Yukiko, because she's dumb. She's trying to ask me a question. Um, any of us you like Chie? Any of us you like Yukiko? Any of us you like Yosuke? <laughs> <laughs> Yukiko doesn't even understand the question, except she might like me, because that's just how the game works. 
Um, Yosuke, that would just be weird. Don't, don't even go there. I guess Chie. I don't, I hate being too Chie-centric, but, eh. Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? Hey, you signed me up for the drag competition. I get to embarrass you a little. I can't answer something like that here. <laughs> well, we're all miserable. Oh. I guess I should have asked about Yosuke. He probably wasn't the funniest. Hopefully. I don't know. Hope something is funny. This has to heat up. This sucks. Did I pick the worst event? Could we have done another event? This event's boring. Sounds is heavy. It cannot end here. <gasps> Reset! She's gonna spice things up. Pie, how are you doing? She would definitely spice things up. Did you even know do you know what our thing is? You should realize what our thing is. Uh. What, you don't know what our thing is? Okay, either you didn't realize what our thing is, or you didn't realize it would suck this much and you're gonna leave. Well, see ya! I think you didn't realize it would suck this much, I guess. You know, you could've helped uh, liven up the attraction, but I guess not. So is this thing just gonna suck the whole time? Mark it. The group date cafe is officially a failure. It was your idea. So, that's it? The first day of the culture festival ended on a strange note. That's it? That's so boring. I thought that was going to be the fun one. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to go back and check the others, but I, I would hope that the others are more entertaining because that was boring. You decided to at least walk around the school a bit before going home. All right. Man, that was boring. Yes, coming I hallway. Wow, this class is exhi uh, exhibiting a collection of local artifacts. I wish ours was doing something this cool. You could have come to our group date cafe, Co. Uh, doing a freaking play, man. What's up with that? A play would have been cool. I could have joined in. Oh, Too late to complain, Pidget. A piglet? Oh, I get it. It's not piglet, it's Hamlet. How would I get stuck with that role anyway? Um, Hamlet would be way cooler than piglet. I thought it was... um gonna be the big bad wolf and the piglets, but I guess not. And who the hell came up with this play? Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet? Dude! <laughs> that sounds amazing. Can I join? Chill out, dude. Tomorrow's gonna be way more exciting. Right, Renegade? Oh, no. So we are gonna be attending on Sunday. <laughs> for sure, it's gonna be root- I'm gonna be rooting for you in that beauty contest. Oh, God. Member, first place or bust? Ugh. You had fun with Ko and Daisuke. Oh, hi. What's up? Ooh, what is this? The long-nosed fortune teller? Is it Usopp? Come on, who'd believe crap like this? <laughs> oh god, who is it? You're a confident one. Who is it? I don't know who you are. Uh, Maybe you're pretty good. Well, who is it? You want to challenge me? I bet you can't win. Who is it? I gotta see the person. I can't just hear a laugh. Overestimating your competence will only work against you, miss. Who is it? I'll take that as I'll take that as your acceptance. Well, can I know who it is before I start making jokes? I challenge you to reap one fortune. No time limit. If I win, which I will, I'm gonna destroy this stand. Wow. Bitch mode activated. But then again, with I, bitch mode's kind of always on. So it's just, how on is it? On like Diddy Kong. The subject of this little contest is Renegade's relationship with girls. Um, okay, you can't give a right answer then, because she's going to want to say... She's going to want the fortune teller to say that Renegade's into you, but I'm not into you, sorry. Just not into you. If that's the case, I most certainly have the advantage. Because you're Chie? I... who else? No, but that's not the le what? Or Margaret? What does that mean? I am confused. You share a stirring moment with I. Who's the fortune teller? Is it supposed to be Margaret or something? Or... I don't even... I don't even... I don't even... You toured the cultural festival with your friends. 
I don't even. I I do not even. And if I don't even, then how does anyone even? So we don't even. We just odd. You're back. All we do is odd all day. That's too odd. Too odd to handle. Oh, I don't even want to. Um, am I supposed to just rest? Get some rest. All right, fuck it. Let's dive right in. Well, I'll save just in case. But yeah, that first day, that was boring. I hope the rest are better. That sucked. I thought that would be funner. Because a group date sounds fun, but eh, I guess not. Go to sleep. Oh, well. Was looking forward to it, and it was a letdown. What a shame. Second day. I had a classroom before the contest begins. Oh, God, it's my day. Ugh. Oh, they're going to set us up. Oh, why is Teddy here? Is he participating or is he helping with the grooming? Because that'd be gross. Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down. You know why we're just standing here, Chie. You know why. Come on, kanji -kun. Over here. Oh, boy. Why is Teddy here? Gosh dang it. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Much. You should add the much. The cross dressing pageant will begin soon. Looks like you'll have to give up and let Yukiko apply makeup on you. Oh boy. What about me? If he joins, he should win. He looks the girliest of all, for sure. It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. Really? You're entering? Since when? You're not even in the freaking school. How did you enter? You can only cheat so hard at life, Teddy. He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last-minute contestant. Wow. He wanted to join? That's... That's pretty stupid. So you're making him suffer too, huh? He's probably gonna enjoy it. Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed, that's how it works. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Of course. Me. Oh boy, that's a funky combination. The girl who looks like a boy with the boy who looks like a girl. The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable! Well then, um... So who am I paired with? If we each get to pair up with someone, shouldn't we get to pick? First, I need some dazzling makeup. Shame we don't get to pick. Oh well. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. From someone indeed. Or you have one on hand. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment. So he was going to tell you what the equipment... Okay. Apparently you're an expert on this even though you've been alive for five minutes. Great. <laughs> we gotta use fake eyelashes, right? They're totally going to burn. Then again, we're going to burn harder. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on like donkey, huh? This is gonna be so bad. Oh god, starting. <laughs> so it begins. Um, is she speaking right now? Or is she off stage saying this? Ladies and gentlemen! Off stage. Oh boy. Oh boy. We now begin the second day of the Culture Festival with the ever-popular Miss Yasugami Pageant! Uh, is it doing both at once? Or I thought it was going to be one on one day, one on another. Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant! Who's first up to get embarrassed? She's a runaway express train who's in a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks! It's Kanji. Presenting Kanji-chan of the first year class three! Oh god, what is he gonna look like? I don't wanna see it! Oh. Oh my god. So. Oh my, I don't, I don't wanna look. Yeah, right? I know. Ew, that's so creepy! Uh, who was in charge of him? Rise, oh, you suck. No offense, but... This is wrong on every level! Actually, all of the offense. I agree, it is wrong on every level. Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but... What would you say is your best feature? 
Ugh. My eyes? <laughs> Whoa! Conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty! <laughs> he should have been like, my muscles! My muscles will destroy this planet! After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant! Well, if they're leaving the best for last, that means I'm coming last, right? An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. Hey, I agree! Presenting... Yosuke-chan of the second year class two! Oh, God. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a picture, the picture, too. Hi! Oh, God, he, he's at least cross-dressing his voice. Oh, I don't want to look at it either. Yeah, even uglier, right? And here I thought Yosuke Senpai would be able to pull it off. I think Yosuke Senpai might be able to pull it off. She ain't just uh, went out of her way to mess him up good. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Sitting across? <laughs> now, you look ready to win in that outfit. <sighs> Do you often dress like this? Hell no! She's still talking like it. Uh... <clears throat> like, no way! <laughs> You're getting too into it, Yosuke. Who is with this? <laughs> laughing stocks up here. No shit! What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come! Up next, our third contestant! Oh no, oh, how bad am I gonna be? Or maybe I'll actually pull it off. I doubt it though. Oh wait, oh no, they're gonna have Teddy first, aren't they? She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. That sounds like me, not Teddy. I could be wrong though. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, Class 2! You're not gonna say my name? It's customary to say the name. Yeah, I know why they're not saying it, but... Breaking hearts? Really? I mean, I didn't break all the hearts. And I think I'm... I mean, even though I have to friend zone most people, that's only because so many hearts want me. All the ladies want my bod. And my balls. Whoa! I kind of pulled it off. I gotta see an up close face of that look because that, that kind of pull it off from what I can see. Senpai, why are you doing this? Because I'm good at it. Whoa, I thought he was cooler than that. I think uh, Renegade looks the best so far. Uh, I'd need an up close look, but uh, from afar, he definitely looks the best. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? You bet I did. No. Damn straight, my friends forced me. A girl I like entered me. Oh, <laughs> Well, it is a girl I like entered me, actually. But, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, 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 you know what? If we're gonna be a man and go all the way... Um, damn straight! Wow, he was more gung-ho about this than Kanji. Damn that Kashiwagi. <laughs> How dare she tear away our innocence like this! Now I'm scarred for life, damn it! I think we are re we're already scarred when we had that pee of uh, more oka get into our veins. Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Well, okay, if we never got an up-close look at Renegade, I'm definitely gonna say he's the winner. But Teddy is already looks like a girl, so he's gonna pull it off the best. In fact, now that I think about it, I thought Naoto was gonna bomb, but Naoto's probably taking this the most seriously. Because the rest were doing it on purpose to make us look stupid, I'm guessing. Naoto might have actually just been trying. Calling herself king of the TV world, she's a cute, sexy little number. Oh, God. Give a warm welcome to Teddy Chan. How good is she going to look? Oh, God. She looks perfect. Oh, God. Give me your heart. Oh, they're parodying oh, the thing, and they're doing the... And she looks so good, and I hate it, and I knew she would look good, because he already looks like a girl. That's a boy? 
Well, I think I know. I think we know who won. He's so cute. He's too cute. I did it. I would not. Ever. Ugh. And I somehow won still. No. Nah. And the winner of this year's Miss Yasugami pageant is. I think we all know who won. The random contestant who won everyone's heart, Miss Teddy. Yeah, that wasn't a surprise. Oh God. As our champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. He even pulls off the stance well. Ugh. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant with actual beauties this time! But? Where's the but? Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant! Oh, that sounds terrible! Don't let him vote! Oh, no! Woohoo! Ugh! An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Well, who are the real judges? Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. It's only because Teddy is Teddy. Ugh. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. Even though you didn't work on him, it was Nauko or Nauko. What? Now I'm conf now Mick now combining their names. N Nauto and uh, Nanako. Nauko. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna happen. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. I hate it. Well then, Miss Teddy. How does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long-awaited day has finally come! I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Did you even get this kind of authority? Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! I agree on that, though. You, hey, you signed us up for this. You have to do it now. Aw, I didn't bring a swimsuit. <laughs> That's what you're complaining about. That bear needs to be disappeared. <laughs> Before you were saying how happy you were. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. Professor Bitch will allow it. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. Yeah, Professor Bitch would be all for that. Good! Sounds fun! Okay, change back to your uniform and turn to the hall. Time for the good part! Obtain drag costume. Oh god, I'm never gonna even look at that. I'm not even gonna try it on. Ugh, they're probably gonna give me a trophy if I do, but I I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. Oh my god. Later that day in the beauty pageant dressing room. Oh god. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. Oh yeah, and Hanako is involved in this too. Ah, oh, ah, oh, there is gonna be some some ugh in this one. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Yeah, she's weird. Mr. Teddy dropped this off. Oh god, no. He said that they're swimsuits. Oh god, no. I mean, yes! Hey, we don't need them! Yes, you do! <laughs> My mature charms will win the day! As if. I think more people will vote for Hanako, because you're such a bitch. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. Was it all part of your plan? I brought my own, too. Oh, no, no, no. You better have a one-piece. It better cover your whole freaking body. What's with these people? Yes, all these two people. These all two. Hey, let's, let's not do this. No, you're doing it. We had to drag. You're getting in a swimsuit. It's not as bad as what we did. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. Oh, no figure. Them's fighting words. Uh, what about the rest? Oh, no, the figure. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Uh, I thought they weren't allowed to back out. Now Professor Bitch is saying they can, and yet now they're not going to because of what she just said. 
Also, the fact that they can back out is bullshit. Oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take the crown, you little snoring pig! Oh, fighting words! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. You didn't object to the pig part? We went through hell because of you! <laughs> That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, now they're fired up! Alright! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. I'm curious, does Hanako actually think she's gonna she's gonna win? That would be weird. I can see Bitch thinking that, um, she's definitely wrong, but I can see her thinking that Hanako though, that would be weird. Oh god, don't tell me she's someone we're gonna have to rescue. I could totally see her having a shadow and getting a character development moment and Ugh Oh, I could see it happening, which is why I'm so scared. Let this be a warning to the others too. What others? <laughs> You're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. No, we're going to bring it on with our game faces. Come on and get your game on. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? And I ran. Well, we did kind of run away last time. Which time was that? I don't even remember. Oh, is this the Moroka thing? Because she was sleeping in there thing and they didn't like it so they went over to the boys is that why because she was snoring and they hated it i think that's why and that's where the snoring part comes from yeah all right and they left kanji there yeah which was weird that's what i'm saying we gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that i suppose how can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight exactly so fight 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 yeah They weren't even involved in the last time. Huh? Me too? Yeah, now Toe wants to run like hell. Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? Because they're all Sundere. There's no way! Yeah, she's more the logical type, but they're gonna force you to! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. <laughs> yeah! You're not going anywhere. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Things are getting tense. It's like a real beauty pageant. They're all bitches. You decided to watch the beauty pageant together with Yosuke and Kanji. Okay, the fun part. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasugami pageant. Why are those two just standing there? The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Oh boy. Now for our next contestant, Miss J. Satanaka of the second year's class two. Come on out, J. Uh, Nanako's gonna win, isn't she? And we're not even gonna get any say in this. I mean, that's fine and all, but, uh... Did I say Nanako? God damn it. <laughs> God, that would be fucked up. Now Toe's gonna win, and we're not even gonna get any say in this. But, um, and I get it, but still feels a bit iffy. Nah. Where's the swimsuit? Hi, I'm Chie Satanaka. I guess there are several stages to this, aren't there? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I've never really watched beauty pageants, but I think that's how it works. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I guess we skipped their stage ones. Good. Uh, um, I'm kind of shy and reserved, and my favorite food is pudding. I like pudding too. <laughs> that liar. It's steak. She's doing it to sound less manly. Thank you very much. I like pudding and steak. How about pudding on steak? Ooh, sounds fun. Up next, another contestant from class two, Miss Yukiko Amagi! Oh boy! Hello, my name is Yukiko Amagi. Why does it show her sprite on the top all black, which is clearly wearing more red? Like, there's a bit of black, but there's also a lot of red. Where's the red? 
Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. We all know that. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Uh, way to just self-promote, you know, when you're in a beauty pageant. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. That's like asking people to comp like, comment, and subscribe in the middle of a Let's Play video. No one with class would do that, right? Although if you did like, comment, and subscribe viewers, that would be great. But no one with class would do that. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. Oh boy, this will get some cheers. thrilled to be here. Good. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rosette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll all cheer for me. Oh gosh, normally when people talk in third person I hate it, but you kind of pull it off. The real Rosette, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh! Oh, thank you very much. Uh, he's got a huge boner, you can tell. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! I didn't even think about uh, who this guy's voice actor was for a while, but now I'm actually thinking about it. This is What's-His-Face, the same guy who plays Saki's brother, isn't it? I think it is. Is it supposed to be the same character, or this just lazy recycled voice actors again? As they always do. <laughs> hey, Kanji. Here she comes! She's just gonna need a regular outfit this time, right? Hey, shh! Pipe down! <laughs> He's excited! <laughs> Complete guy uniform! Wow. I... I'm... Naoto Shiragane? Although that's the first time seeing her in that uniform, yeah. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. Well, dreams do come true, Naoto. This is beyond my... Wildest imaginings. I... I really don't know what to say. What you're saying right now is perfect. C can I step back now? <laughs> oh god, he's got the biggest boner now. Uh, you got a, 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 one of my swords in your pocket, Kanji? I kind of want that back for my fighting technique. You have all your swords. This is my sword! <laughs> And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! I like that choice of words. Uniquely beautiful. Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. Oh boy. <clears throat> I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. We're aware. You're not one of the participants, get on with it. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. <laughs> well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? The answer is yes. What a teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Has she? Huh? Stop it! <laughs> Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? The vagina. What? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Can I stay at your house next time, Rise-chan? Oh god, now you're getting creepy. What kind of a question is that? <laughs> Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. That is? Wait till you hear this! For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition! And now the fun part begins! And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here! Get your boners at the ready! We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. Yeah, as far as just their gen the generic outfits goes, I mean, you'd think they'd want to, you know, spice it up a bit for their normal look, but I guess if they are in the swimsuits too. Still though, it's a bit weird. Naoto's the only one who wore something a bit unique. Oh god, oh no, look away. It's already there. 
I mean, hi, Chie, that's great. You had your usual, uh... Do you ever change swimsuits, though? I mean, that would be an interesting change of pace, but... Oh, my God, she's there. She's, she's still on... Like, we can't see bitch, but we can see the other one. Oh, uh, I don't want to look at the screen now. I'm going to cover my eyes a little bit so I can't see it. Oh. Okay, go on. You sound like a dirty old man. Yosuke is a dirty old man. Chie Senpai is cute, though. Hey, eyes up, my Chie. I still need to buy that. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's funny. I still need to buy that, even though she has it all the time. Sorry for what? This is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that you haven't bought my swimsuit yet, so you can't use it all the time. Wow, Yukiko Senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. You, that is the most pervy comment of the day. And there's Rise. Here's Reset. But of course the shadows are still bigger. Gorgeous. Huh? Oh, you don't even care. You just care about Naoto. That's what you're waiting for. Oh, she doesn't want to come. She's frightened. Miss Naoto? Oh, God. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, she's going to have one, though. She's not coming out. She has to have one. Oh, God. Well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. No! Oh, that's not fair. Fine by me. And the fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh god. Just don't give what's her face a sprite. Oh well, I had a feeling that would happen. No, she's gotta come out. Come on, come out of the closet, Naoko. Too bad, Kanji. Naoto, not Naoko, damn it! Huh? Uh, no, um. Well, yeah. <laughs> but don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? True. Yeah, you're right. And she's the only one who had a unique outfit in the first round. She gave it her all in that part, at least. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Oh, I actually get to vote? Oh, that's awesome. But come on, we don't get to see Nato? Oh. Oh, God. I can't go for the others? Um. I gotta pick Chie, right? Um, Naoto is the one who I thought the game would force me to vote for. It, you know what? No. If Naoto had showed me a swimsuit, I might have. But because Naoto didn't, no. I can't. I can't. In good conscience, she's a coward. Gotta go Chie. Yeah, she is pretty cute when you really look at her. Yeah, if Naoto at least gave us a showing. Thanks for waiting, everyone! The results are in! And, of course, the person I picked is gonna win, right? Looking at the way the vote went, you guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Oh, is it is it close? Lots of different opinions, with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. Really, really, even Hanako, even Hanako. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing, and so there's a clear winner. Really. Grand prize goes to Miss Noto Shiro Gane. Then what was the point of making us vote? I mean, I'm fine with that, but then why let us why give us the option if you're just going to choose for us? I mean, I thought that would happen, but not when they gave us choice. Ugh. And Rogerus charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. Oh, I see. The girls all voted for Naoto. That makes sense. Yes, wood bang. Lots of leses. We'd like to present Miss Naoto with her award now, but... <laughs> Hanako and the and bitch are looking down. It looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part! Uh-huh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Man, losing to Naoto... Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. <laughs> Better look next time appealing to the girls, I guess. I think 
it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? Because you're not beautiful. You're not worth it. <laughs> oh, no. Miss Kajawaki. <laughs> I can't believe this. They gave her a sprite. I'm not looking at it, but I saw a glimpse of it. Oh. Is it gone? <laughs> And they're gonna bond now. That's just plain creepy. Ah! Miss Kazuwagi. Never show that sprite again. <laughs> the Miss Yasugami high passion has come to an end. Ugh. You didn't even get seen now to in a bathing suit. That's BS. I think she would have deserved it if she showed her bathing suit, but no. Well. Now it's here now. See that bathing suit. Ugh. Ah, good thing we found you. What? I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Gotcha. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Uh, you didn't see anything interesting yet, did you? Please say no. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? If I have no choice. Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> Can I? Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Oh boy. Have a safe trip. Does he have plot? Will there be plot? Let there be plot. Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. Uh, yeah, no, no, this is actually an excuse. He saw the drag queen competition, and then he was like, Oh, God, is this what the kids are doing? I have to get out of here. Uh, hey, uh, I just got this business call. Here's Nanako. Have fun with her. I gotta get the fuck away from these people. Oh, who even is that boy? He's not my nephew. Okay, Dad. Maybe I'll come back after a few days, get some sense back in my head, or forget all about it. Look at some uglier people so I don't think about it anymore. Hey, Nanako-chan... Why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Oh, sleepover. Let's all go there. Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Except you. You don't get to come. I'm sick of you being in every scene ever. Ooh, a celebration at your inn? Uh, I think she wasn't thinking about uh, everybody, though. Is that okay with you? Hey, is it okay? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Oh, maybe this will be the fun part. Hell yeah, I'm down. This whole thing so far has been kind of meh. Even the girls' competition. We didn't even get seen out in a swimsuit. Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Can you not come, please? Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Yep, we think. Well, we could stay days and days. It'll be great. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Uh, I hope by everyone you're not including a few other uh, females that are coming to mind, unfortunately. I wish they weren't, but I saw them. The images, even one flash. Can I? You were the one who asked first. Who was asked first? She's offering, so why not? It's up to you, Nanako. Hot springs! Hot springs! Let's go! I want to spend the night! <laughs> Hot springs, you cut the flushed skins. Yeah. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? Yeah, how busy could it be? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. Probably fewer visitors due to the murders, so yeah. Oh, okay. Might as well then. Well, make use of the space. Sure. Don't put the deaths to waste. Not quite what I meant, but yeah. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? Oh god, did you make out? Oh wow, look at Naoto's head shaking. Head nodding. Everyone will be staying at the Yamagi Inn tonight. 